Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 22000.100. This build includes a number of notable changes and enhancements over the last public preview build as well as the last build video we did which was on build 22000.51. So it's been a couple of sort of revisions, builds, whatever you want to call them since our last build video uh, and some notable stuff has been added. So diving straight in, the first notable changes are with the taskbar. Microsoft has been continuing its crusade of rounding off corners everywhere throughout Windows 11 and the taskbar is one of those areas which sort of had it in build 5.1 but was missing it in, in certain areas. Uh, in this build that has been rectified so now this menu here has rounded corners and is slightly raised above the taskbar as well as the right click menu when right clicking on a pinned icon for example and if we have an app open here the app thumbnail preview now has rounded corners and is raised above the taskbar as well all in the name of matching the rest of the windows 11 ux and trying to make it as consistent as possible uh, so that's nice to see that said it's still not perfect uh this volume control is still the windows 8 volume control Let's hope they update that before Windows 11 is done. Um, but yes, that's basically everything new with the taskbar. If we jump into the action center here, you'll notice that there's now a quick access button to the focus assist settings within the notifications panel. And you can now also completely collapse this calendar view. Before it would only sort of collapse halfway. Now you can completely collapse it and just show the dates, which I actually much prefer. And now we have our notifications here instead, which is very nice. Other UI changes, Microsoft has added a nice acrylic effect to the task view UI here. In the previous video we did, this didn't have a blurred background, but now it does, and I think it looks a lot nicer. And if we jump into start, the start menu now has a search bar. Now this isn't a real search bar, it's simply here just to sort of tell users who may not know that they can just start searching here if they want to. Clicking on it will just open up the Windows search UI instead, which is kind of a shame. They could really do a lot to sort of make this uh, transition more seamless but as of right now as you saw there it's very obviously just closing the start menu and opening up the search UI which is eh, not not my favorite design uh, but um yeah they could improve that a bit if they really wanted to if we jump into the widgets panel here, Microsoft has added a new entertainment widget, uh, which looks a bit like this. It's essentially a mini advert for things happening within the movies and TV app right now. So we have things like Wonder Woman 1984, Sonic the Hedgehog. And if we click on any of these, that will open up the Microsoft Store and take us to that uh, film that we clicked on, which is super fun. While we're here, uh, the Microsoft Store now has a bunch of new animations. So if we click on an app here, you'll see that there's a smooth animation that sort of uh, brings you into the app page that you clicked on. So if I go down here and click on, say, WhatsApp Desktop, that animation plays again. Very nice. Windows 11 is all about those subtle animations, and I really think it completes the experience here uh, within the Microsoft Store. Now, moving on, Microsoft is updating Microsoft Edge to support uh, Windows 11 designs. So as you can see here, if we right click on anything, uh, the context menu is now much like the rest of the Windows 11 context menus. It has a slight acrylic blur effect, which looks really nice. Now, it's a little bit difficult to see, but the title bar up here now has the Mika blur effect, which is similar to acrylic. It's sort of just slightly hints at your wallpaper in the background and it kind of gives it like a translucency effect almost except it doesn't um it, it, it ignores uh app windows behind it and just shows off um the wallpaper you can see here file explorer also has it and now microsoft edge has it as well and uh, it looks kind of nice it's a very subtle effect don't get me wrong but if you're if you have a keen eye for those kind of design choices this is going to be a nice one for you but yeah that's microsoft edge they are doing a fair bit to make their app look consistent with the rest of windows 11 and uh, i appreciate that now, if we right click on anything, uh, the context menu here now has uh, acrylic as well. So it's slightly translucent and blurs your wallpaper through, which looks really nice. And that of course is the same within File Explorer as well. All right, finally, Microsoft has finally added the chat feature that they announced with Windows 11 back in June. Um, this allows you to set up a, the consumer version of Microsoft Teams and use it to communicate uh, with your friends and family. So we are just getting this set up now. I do believe this requires a phone number, which is kind of annoying because this is my demo account, which doesn't have a phone number tied to it, I don't think. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's use this account. Wants me to type in my password. Yeah, see, it wants me to add a phone number, which is a real shame because I don't want to add a phone number to this account. But uh, apparently, if I don't, I cannot use Microsoft Teams Consumer, which is just insane, frankly. Uh, so I'm going to have to switch over to my main PC to demo this feature. Give me one second. 
Okay, so here we are on my personal desktop. If we come down to the chat function here and click on it, this is the new Microsoft Teams chat feature on Windows 11. Uh, now, unfortunately, you cannot minimize the suggested contacts uh, menu, so I'm going to have to blur out um, these numbers down here. Uh, but up here, you can see my recent chats, as well as at the top here, we have the Meet Now button, which is coming soon, as well as the ability to create a new chat straight through this UI. Then, what, as I said, our recent chats here, we can search our recent chats, or we can just click into one here. We can jump straight into a video call or phone call, but again, those functionalities are coming soon. Uh, so if you click on this here, that popped out of frame, but that's the chat window. And this is the new Microsoft Teams client. It's much lighter than the old one. It's based on WebView 2, I think. And uh, this is what it looks like. So I can begin typing. Hello there. I am typing for a video. I can send that off. And that looks pretty nice. We can also send GIFs if we want to which is pretty fun. Emoji, as always, which is also pretty fun, as well as attachments. And we can also format our text as well, if that's something you want to do. Uh, while we're here, let's quickly actually take a look at the main sort of Teams client, which this will install when you set up the chat feature. Again, we're going to have to uh, minimize this real quick. So here's what it looks like. Um, it looks just like Teams, really. We have our chats here on the left. We have our calendar view, uh, which is super fun as well. And then we have our activity, which I won't click on because I think there's some personal chats in there. So there you have it. That's a quick look at the new sort of Teams clients as well as the chat integration on Windows 11. Uh, and that just about does it for this video, I think. So thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.